Good morning, YouTube. The welcome to summer vlog number four, I think. Um, today is Tuesday in June. I don't know what the date is because it's because I'm a teacher and you know, again, it's summer, so I have absolutely no idea. Um, it is like nine o'clock at the moment, which is a little bit late for me. Just finished up with my yoga session, which went really well. Trying to chug all of the water because my grandfather says that you should always drink lots and lots of water after yoga because it's something to do with it, like squeezing things out of your organs. Um, oh, my granddad is a yoga teacher. That would help that story make a little more sense. So I've got my lemon water and I am gonna prep my food because I am starving, which is partially because um, we ate dinner a little early last night so that we could go play tennis. Um, so like ate and then burned off a lot of it before I went to bed. And then this morning I actually slept in a little bit because my husband had like a meeting. So he didn't actually have to get up as early as normal. And I usually just get up whenever he does because life is just so much easier when everybody is on the same sleep schedule. And by everyone, I mean me and my husband and my dogs. So I'm going to assemble my food. I think my coffee just finished brewing and I have a lot of work to do today. <laughs> All right, so this morning we've got a cut up banana and this is chia seed pudding. So it's chia seeds in coconut milk with cocoa powder and coconut flakes. You can kind of see like coconut flakes in there. No added sugar at all. I didn't put any added sugar in there. Um, and the coconut milk I chose did not have added sugar. So just sweetness from the banana and then I put a little bit of sugar free whipped cream on top and yes, that is a thing. And then I've got my coffee and my second cup of water. All right, so I'm gonna read my Bible and I'm gonna get down to work. Today is actually TPT Tuesday, so I need to make sure that I get my video edited and uploaded this morning on top of like all the other projects I have going on. Um, yeah, I feel like it's summer, but I still have so much work to do and I'm not getting as much done as I thought I would because I have been relaxing large portions of the day, which is my goal, but I just, like, I felt like I was going to be able to get more done than I have been. But it's also only, like, the second week of summer, so I guess there's still hope. In case anyone was curious, I am hopping back on the writing down 10 goals every morning, um, and by that I mean the last two mornings. You can see the time before that was November. <laughs> um, I did, I kind of missed journaling, but this was one of those things that I ended up just cutting out because it just seemed to take up so much of my time in the morning. So we'll do it at least for the summer and then see where we land. All right, so I apparently lost some hair. Um, I got a lot done this morning. I didn't get much work done on like my big summer project, but I got a lot of other things done. I got my video edited, uploaded. Um, I got some like Pinterest graphics. I have to make a thumbnail for that. And y'all, I was like, I don't have anything that looks like blogging. So here's like a random picture and hopefully people won't think that's weird. Um, cause I read that you should always have a picture of, um, someone's face in your thumbnails because people are more likely to click on those but I need to have like a photo shoot or something that seems so ridiculous but I need to have like a photo shoot so that I can like have pictures of like things that go along with blogging and stuff like that like I don't know me and a laptop at Starbucks I don't know um how weird who do, who do I even get to do I don't know I'll think on that. Um, right now I need to take some pictures um, for some Etsy listings. So I'm gonna show you what I got. All right, so this is a really old one. Um, I absolutely love it, but the paper was really wonky and so it wasn't working. Um, these are going to be, well, these two will be available as originals and also digital downloads, which is basically like equivalent to TPT where you can just go on Etsy, you pay like $3, I think is what I have them listed for. And then you can print them out, hang them up, and they look really good. Actually, you can see this is a one that I printed out. You can see it's like on flimsy little copy paper. Um, but I mean, if I had the original here, you would know it looks exactly the same. Like it is crazy. You can even see like the watercolor paper texture on here um so this one was getting kind of wonky because it 
was buckled so I was trying to like flatten it out. So I'm gonna see if I can get this one to do the right thing. Um, and then these two, I actually finished a while ago and just never put up. So that will complete my Beauty and the Beast series. I also have Mrs. Potts, which is just an original, not a download. And then Clogsworth and the Enchanted Rose. Those two are available as digital downloads and the originals. So all of those need to be put up on my Etsy. So I'm gonna take pictures right now and then I can get them up later. If you are curious about how I take pictures, I use natural light so I can only do it in the morning because it's the only time it hits correctly. And this is just a, um, foam board and actually I just pulled like I often paint things on here um, I just pulled some stuff off so I take some of the pictures here and then I'll put it on this blank white sheet to take a couple others and it makes it look like all nice and pretty and all my backgrounds match and stuff like that that you have to think about when you sell things online all right it's like 10 40 and I'm headed out to the pool first look at my puppy she's so cute hello All right, so I'm back from the pool. It is like two o'clock and I am sitting down to eat lunch. Obviously I took a shower, my hair is soaking wet. Hopefully that'll dry fairly quickly because I have some errands to run this afternoon. Just wanted to show you what I was eating really quick. All right, so throwback to the school year, I'm having buffalo chicken dip, um, but I actually made some chips with the Carb Smart tortillas. So they have like extra fiber in them so that they have less net carbs. And then I have some blueberries and some watermelon, which I did not bother to put into a smaller bowl because I'm lazy. So I'm gonna eat this and I think watch some YouTube videos and yeah. Head out, I have some errands to run. Um, I have to go to turn in some paperwork for my business to the county and I have to find an ATM because I have to, like there's like a fee that goes with it and Y'all, I don't even know where there like is an ATM near my house because I can't remember the last time I went to an ATM. Like I was seriously trying to think of it. I think it might've been college. So um, yeah, wish me luck. And then I need to go to the mall because my jewelry from K Jewelers, so like my engagement ring um, and the necklace and ring I'm wearing are all from K Jewelers and they all have warranties, which I would highly suggest if you're spending um, a decent amount of money on your jewelry. So I have to get them inspected like twice a year. So I'm gonna go get them inspected and cleaned, which will be good because my ring is quite dirty. Um, yeah, so I didn't feel like wearing real clothes. So I'm just wearing, this is like a super simple little dress. It's from Columbia, which is like an outdoorsy. Um, let's see if that'll get brighter. Nope, light might help. Um, it's purple. It's from Columbia, which is like an outdoorsy store. They do lots of like hiking and camping. I have a lot of hiking and camping stuff from them. Um, and then just some little sandals. And I've got same watch I always wear. And then I have two Pura Vida bracelets like normal. Um, the blue and purple one is called Good Vibes. And the other one is brand new. I love it because it's that like orange and yellow and blue combination which is like the color of my classroom i love it so that's called citrus surf line i think and so i'll link those down below this is the ring i'm going to get inspected same watch i always wear that's my other ring it really needs to be cleaned um and then then I'm wearing my Pura Vida wave earrings. So they have these in silver and gold. They also have a ring that I do have, but I'm not wearing because I have my other ring on that I'm getting inspected today. Um, glasses, because I'm lazy. And I had a headband in my hair, but it was doing something super funky, I think just because my hair is still damp. So I just like pinned it back. So I'm gonna head out, go run some errands, and then I shall be back. And I will probably acquire some coffee somewhere on the way. Hey guys, I am back and gracious, a bit of a mess. Um, it just started like pouring here, so that was fun. Um, today's errands were a little bit of a bust, so I needed to go drop off some paperwork for my business at the 
But halfway there, I realized that I had left a couple of things blank because I filled out most of the paperwork at my mom's office and I needed stuff that I had here and I had never filled it in. And I was like, okay, well I can find it, but it's gonna, like I was gonna have to call someone to find this number and like all these different things. And then I also had to go to the bank to get the money and they closed at four and it was like 310 and I was like, there's just no way we're gonna get everything done. So I decided to just, not stressed about it. I'll just take it either tomorrow or Thursday and it'll be okay. Um, so anyway, I went to Dick's Sporting Goods because my husband and I had been talking the other day about getting these silicone wedding bands. Um, I don't know, what is this, Qualo? Because we've been playing tennis a lot and neither of us wanna wear our wedding bands when we go play tennis. Um, and I also don't wear mine like at the beach or at the pool or those kind of things. So. Um, this was the solution, you know, so it still have something proves I'm married, but it's just a little bit better. Um, and I had thought about that separately and then he mentioned wanting it the other day. So I was like, I want one too. So we decided to get them. Um, and he went today and found they were on sale at Dick Sporting Goods. So he got his, but they didn't have my size. So I went and got my size. It was like, um, this is like the fancier one. Can you see that? No. I don't know. Um, so it's like scalloped and like pearly looking. Um, and so this one was $30 because it's like a little fancier. I think they have a bunch that are 20. I'll link them down below because I think they have them on Amazon as well for like the same price. So got that, which is a good thing because when I went to get my jewelry inspected, they found that one of the diamonds on my wedding band was loose, which wow, sounds like a really fancy problem to have like oh one of my diamonds is loose um so it wasn't like falling out but she said that it probably would fall out if we didn't get it fixed and it's summer so I'm at the pool and playing tennis anyway so I was like all right just go ahead and send it off and because we have the warranty you don't have to pay for it so if you are like getting engaged or getting married or just about to have something fancy and they're like do you want the warranty the answer is yes because if i had to like replace the diamond if it had fallen out that would be so expensive so expensive and most places so mine's from k jewelers but most places including them do like they do free resizing if your ring is a different size like actually this one that i'm wearing i stuck it on my left hand because i was like i just feel weird having it empty um I also have a warranty on this one and I've actually had to get it resized and I had like as soon as I got it back one of the diamonds fell out so I had to send this one off and like it just it would have been so much more expensive if we didn't have the warranty so get the warranty um it's like five o'clock now and it's storming and I really want nothing more than to lay on the couch but I have a couple more things that I need to accomplish. So right now I think we're going to vacuum and then come downstairs and clean up a little bit like I need to do the dishes and I also need to play my cello because I'm never gonna get better if I don't play, right? Yeah, um, so I think I'll play my, I think I'm gonna vacuum, play my cello, Maybe sing a little bit, cause you know, gotta get better. If, can't get better if you don't practice. And then I'll clean up down here and then I will be done. And hopefully that'll all be done within like an hour and a half. Maybe, right? I don't know, we shall see. So I printed out the um, digital download versions of these. And so this one worked out pretty well. Um, I'm happy with that looks good my signature is in a good spot and everything um this one is like super super dark you can see like the difference between these two so i need to either doctor this photo or take a new one and then this one also i just i don't think it's gonna happen because i still can't get these ripples out so i'm gonna give up on this one and then see if i can fix this one so that it's not quite so dark but this one is ready to go all right so cello time if I'm being 100% honest, I really don't feel like playing the cello right now, especially after I finish vacuuming and being interrupted by the dogs every 20 seconds because they're just being obnoxious today. Um, but I'm a big girl and I know that even in the summer I need to get things done and I'm never going to get better if I don't play. So I'm going to do it anyway. 
Um, and I'm sure once I start, then it'll be fine. I just am feeling super lazy at the moment. So working through Suzuki volume two. Just got an Amazon package. I've been waiting all day for this. I've been like anxiously hoping it. I came with this like tiny box because like, surely not everything is in here. Actually, I'm still waiting on two things. Um, so I have got, let's see, a phone case because mine is broken. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so, um, two books. I've got Go See the Principal because I've seen tons of people talking about this on Instagram. And then for white folks who teach in the hood, really excited about this one. Um, and then these are like wireless headphones because mine kept like falling out of my ears. And then I got this visor from Nike for tennis. So still waiting on a couple things, but really excited. Right, so I'm actually really glad that Played my cello it was a really good practice session really short but that's okay I got through everything I wanted to and did an etude I worked on the piece I've been working on for a while um, went and looked at the next piece in the book and oh my gosh y'all it was one of those you know how sometimes you just get to a piece and it just like comes so much easier than another one does that's how today was I got to the next one and I played it and I was like oh my god I like almost got it already and that was the first try sight reading um so I will definitely need to like still practice it and clean it up and get it better but I feel a lot better um and then I went back to like one behind what I've been working on and got it pretty good so I think I'm set and can feel okay leaving that one now it's really hard when you don't have a teacher or anything to work on to be like you know how perfect does it need to be it doesn't need to be performance ready because i'm not performing it sorry my hair is a mess Ugh. it's like it doesn't need to be performance ready but still um so and then i got everything vacuumed i got the kitchen cleaned and i'm about to start making dinner i'm making like a mexican chicken thing um because my husband is going to be home he wasn't no he's i don't know um so Today has been interesting. I think it's been really good. I've gotten a lot accomplished. Not everything that I wanted accomplished, but I have kind of started to come to the conclusion that I'm just probably not gonna get everything I want done every single day, and I'm just gonna have to get over that because um, I have a lot of things that I want to accomplish every day, um, including working out and reading and working on my blog and working on TBT and working on some new projects and working on videos for YouTube and playing my cello and singing and painting and just like all these different things. And then if I have to do anything like run any errands, then that takes a huge chunk of my time. But I also want to hang out and like chill and watch movies and go to the pool and hang out with people because it is summer and I am on vacation. And so I'm like trying to remind myself of that. So yeah, I've come to the conclusion I just have too many hobbies and I can't get them all done every day and I'm just gonna have to be okay with that. Um, so yeah, I just, I guess if I just hit enough of them, it'll be okay. <sighs> Sad day. I thought that I couldn't get everything done because I was working eight hours, but even, even during the summer when all I have to do is you know, and you know, it's like, well, I could have not gone to the pool or at least not stayed as long, or I could have not spent as much time as I did, like looking at Barnes and Noble and stuff. But again, it's summer and I want to enjoy myself. So yes, I think I've had like one day that I actually got no, because even that day, I don't think I worked on YouTube. So no, I haven't had a day yet that I've gotten absolutely everything that I wanted done so I'm just gonna have to get over that and it's okay. Do you have this problem where you just have so many hobbies and so many projects and so many things you wanna do that you can't get them all done? If so, leave me a comment down below so I don't feel quite so bad. Um, but I do think I was pretty productive, you know, cause when I was at the pool, I did a lot of reading. So I actually read a lot and I did get a video up. I did work a little bit on my project. I did clean, I did play my cello. So like I did get a lot of stuff done, just not everything in the world. 
Um, right now I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna go cook dinner and then I'm gonna chill and by chill I really mean work on TPT products, but you know, whatever works for me um, Thank you so much for coming along today If there's anything in particular you want to see more of or less of let me know I don't know like how much you care about TPT stuff I don't know how much you care about like cleaning stuff or just whatever So if there's something you want to see and you don't see it, let me know um, check the link down below for everything that I have mentioned if you enjoyed this at all please make sure you like subscribe and share for more I'm doing two vlogs every single week in addition to TPT videos and other videos about teacher -ness and teacher life and teacher stuff so got a lot of stuff happening this summer make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you get notifications have a wonderful wonderful week